What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Anaheim Ducks franchise mode. It's been a while, but I'm back. Um, I recently just started up a franchise with an IHL 10, just something to give me something I can do. But I totally forgot about the Ducks franchise, so let's come back to it and we'll make some more of it. Now, last episode, if I remember, I think, I don't remember what happened in the playoffs. I don't really, because it's been a while. But I remember us having a lot of trouble getting chemistry. And it was very frustrating. Because I thought I had, like, a trade for a guy like Yusuf Almaki. But this current season, I simmed. So we're at, I'm not going to show you. But I'm just going to come to the coaching staff real quick. And what I did was our head coach, which I believe was Parks or Parkes. I downgrade him to be our assistant coach, and I hired our assistant coach, Dennis Pepin, as our head coach. And when I tell you this changed everything, let me show you the team real quick. He, well, here's the team we're rocking with. I mean, we kind of had the chemistry all of, them, of all the offensive lines, but... This is where it gets crazy. Look at the defense. Plus five with Pranko and Fox. Plus five with Ekman Larson and Lindgren. And plus three with Valamaki and Heiskinen. This this coach really got the chemistry perfect. So what I usually what I was doing with this, I believe there's I think if I put Comtois. Yeah, if I put Comtois on the first line, then I get plus three. But I, Comtois, I don't really need him on the first line. And Caulfield, obviously, he's a goal scorer and playing with these two guys. I think he'll be all right. I think even if we... No, if we don't throw Goche up there. But yeah, still, plus one, plus three, and plus three. Very, very good. So, I simulated the season, and we finished... Top of the league with 118 points. Yeah, we were number one in the league. I'll show you the stats. Actually, we do have one more game remaining. Taylor Hall only had 84 points. 84 points for Zagris. 78 for Caulfield. 48 goals. We're going to have to re-sign him, I think. And oh, only a couple years. Barzell, who's been playing on the third line. Because that's where he fits like the most. We could even, But with Barzell, I think... With our salary cap situation, we might have to move on from Ricard Raquel. Just because, you know, Barzell I think is way better, and so is Zagris. And, Z and Barzell we could probably throw on the top line instead of the third line. So, I think after this year, Ricard Raquel will be on his way out. We also, I think I re-signed Zagris. Actually, I don't think I did yet. I might have. I'm not so sure. But we definitely have to trade Ricard Raquel. But Adam Fox had 59 points. Ekman Larson had 58. Heiskin, like... Everyone just had a good season. And Gauthier, Jesper Nyquist had a good season. And he's only been playing on the third line. Raymond was playing up and down, but we, I kind of bumped him up. Paranko at 30. Yeah, you can see. So, and then goaltenders, of course. Demko with a good season. So, this was probably one of our best seasons, and it really has to do with our new coach we hired. Well, we, down, we dropped our head coach to assistant, and then... Uh, promoted our assistant head coach to our current head coach. So actually, there it is. We finished with 120 points. So I really don't remember. Like did we, we haven't we haven't made the cup. I think since our first season. So this might be our best chance to win the cup. So we're gonna hop right into the playoffs. We will sim like this, and then when it's the game decided, hopefully there's no letdowns. Actually, I just want to make sure that Demko is in net. Also, I'm just trying to see. Let's just see if we maybe want to make some other changes. But I think this is a team is good because we got two snipers. Gauthier. I think if we put, there was a way we could have got plus five. I don't know if, who we had to move. I think we we had to put Gauthier somewhere. But like I said, with if we want to get a plus three, we could put Comtois up there. I think even Lemieux. Oh, Lemieux actually gives us a plus five somewhere. I thought. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, right here. So if we moved Lemieux up, he would give us plus five. But we'll leave him down there for now. I think this team is... Like I said, the chemistry really changed it. 
And Demko, solid goaltender in the back. So we're playing against Nashville, who seem to have a pretty average season. A lot of a lot of overtime losses. So game number one. There we go. Nice 8-4 win. Game number two. There we go. Nice. We needed those two. Now going to Nashville for numero... Ooh, we're up 3-0. You know what? Let's just... I'm not even going to slow sim it just because... There we go. So we get a 4-0 sweep against Nashville. That's very nice. Um, I think... I'm trying... I think Edmonton... Isn't Edmonton... I forgot who was, like, good in this league. I think Edmonton's really good. And I... Actually, no, I don't think we... I think we would be... We're not going to be playing that. I think Colorado is pretty good. Zagros is point per game. I'm sure a lot of guys are pointing the game. We have, what, eight goals, seven goals in one game. So, round number two is against Edmonton. Actually, they didn't really... They had an okay season, but... Let's see. I thought Edmonton was pretty good, but let's try to get both these games. Oof, that's a tough 1-0 loss, but it's all right. Let's get it back. There we go. We get it back 4-3. Steal one on the road. There we go. Let's steal both on the road. That would be awesome. Ah, okay. Coming back to Anaheim. We'll take this one. There we go. All right, let's, let's close out here. Actually, we'll slow sim it. Alright, so we're up, what is it, 3-2, going to Edmonton. We took one game in Edmonton, so let's take another. First period. Oof, second period. Okay, uh, we need a nice push here in the third. To really hold on to this one. I don't think that's going to, nope, that's not going to do it. After that one, I just send it, whatever, and we're going back to Anaheim for game number seven. I am so nervous right now. Because I really want this to be the year. I don't... I'm not going to like... I may... I don't know. We'll see. Because I was thinking of restarting a Ranger franchise and like trying to just build what the core of the Rangers have. But first period here. Okay. 2-2. Two to two. Second period. Oh, no. Come on. No, I am not looking forward to this. I don't mean, David, why do you gotta be so good? I'm not looking forward. Oh, I think that's game. There's no way we're coming back. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we're so close with Anaheim. We just can't get it done. Okay, so um, we are here in the off season. Obviously, we had such a nice year. And we, because we hired a new coach, made some moves. Obviously, I made some moves off camera. And we made it to the second round and lost to Edmonton and Boston Bruins. Won the Stanley Cup. Now, coming into the free agency, I think the only... Let's just... I mean, we are going to have to do the draft, but... All expiring really is just Trevor Zegers. Now, we only have $4.7 million in cash space. Zegers wants 8.8. .8. Still young. That's a good price. We can maybe even get him at 7. Or now 7.5. Now, I think I, we have a lot of big contracts, of course. I think the guy who I'm going to have to try... Oh, my God. I just realized Cole Caulfield's up to an 87. Wow, we really developed him really well. I mean, he had a sick year, 48 points. And when I created Cole Caulfield, I gave him medium top 6, and now he's already up to high top 6. So, I think it's time for us to move on from Ricard Raquel. He does have a huge cap hit of 8.5. I gave him a big contract. And... You know, we just, we have, we trade for Barzell, of course, we have Tim Stutzel, you know, and then we have um, Zagris, so I think we're going to maybe try to trade Raquel, maybe even for a first round pick in this draft, if we can get an elite prospect out of it, because I don't, I don't even know what picks I have in this draft, but he's kind of, I think he was an 88, now he's an 85, so, and I, you know, he, he can maybe get back to, a, uh, he can maybe get back up to an 87, but, so let's try to get through the draft real quickly, because I think we might have to qualify, actually, you know what? Ooh, Tory Krug's on the trading block. Ooh, Max Domi is on the trading block too. Wow, the island, the Devils are the first pick. What pick do I have? If I have any. Okay, we have the twenty-first pick. Do I have another first-round pick? And the twenty-seventh. Okay. So, like I said, we can maybe even trade Rick Kell. Let me actually just take a look at the draft class, real quick. We can maybe even trade Ricard Raquel. So there's medium lead, two-way playmaker. 
Yeah. I mean, our, our, our core is pretty much locked up, so we don't really need... If there's just anything... Okay, a couple... There's a left wing sniper at 23. So, I mean, if we wanted to, let's actually just take a look at the draft. I'm just going to take a look at trading block. Phil Kessel's on the trading block. But isn't he making, like... How much is Phil Kessel making? He's making 8.5, yeah. And he's also declined heavily. Tory Krug. Will Butcher. Who else is on the trading block? Anybody big? Dougie Hamilton. How much is... I mean, we actually don't... We really don't need any defense. Hamilton's not making that. He's actually making pretty cheap. But our defense is kind of set with the team we have. Hamilton fits on the top four defensive pairings. But our defense, I think, is good. You know? Yeah. The, the chemistry is all there. Wow, Jamie Ben is on the train block. I like when players on the train block because they're using Wow, left front year is already up to a 90. I didn't even know he got drafted by the Stars. Ben's down to an 85. Again, yeah, he's not worth it. Grubauer, Cheryl Noel, Zuccarello, Lundquist is on Canadian. So Max Domi's on the train block. How much? Domi's getting 5.9 for two more years. He's a playmaker. I don't think he really fits. But we can maybe revisit him. I, I, plus, we don't really need another center. I'm just going to take a look at other trading block. I need, like, big prospects because I probably want to get some prospects for... Wow. Ilya Samsonov? What is his overall? Because he's an 86 and he's getting paid... 4.6 for two years. Now, if we take a look at our goalie, Thatcher Demko, we had to pay him a little bit more and seven million for two more years, and he's 88. So, do we want to maybe trade Ricard Raquel to the Capitals? Oh, I don't think they're gonna have cap though. For like a Samsonov, and then maybe we'll have Samsonov as our goalie, and we could trade Demko. Let me try. I'm gonna. I might. I might. It might take me a little bit. Ooh, Raquel is actually value. Oh, we actually might only be able to do a straight up. Uh, we might have to. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna actually do that because then it'll save us a couple million with Samsonov as our goalie, and he's only and he's and he'll probably grow. You know, he might even turn out to be better. But we might have to retain a little bit of cap. Actually, we'll just take on maybe a, an extra player just because we're clearing a lot, I think. We're clearing decent. We're clearing about like 4 million. Let me just see. Do they... They really just need like a... They just need like a million taken off. So who else do they have that I could take a million off? Not Lars Eller. Evan Rodriguez? Oh, I think he's expiring. Oh, no, no, he's not. Okay, we need like 2 million. We need 2 million taken off. Oh, that's just centers. I need everybody. Definitely not any of those. Is that James Neal? He's on the Capitals? Wow. Um, what about Haglin? I mean, I don't think... I think he might be expiring, but... What about Ricard Raquel? We're giving them an elite center for their goalie. I mean, we're only going to be clearing, like... Well, I think we'll be clearing a lot. But like I said, I think Carl Haglund's expiring because he's on a one year, but we just won't resign him. Let's see if they'll do that. And they do. So now, we're not going to trade Corpus Salo. We're going to trade Demko. Because let's compare Demko and Samsonov. So Demko is an 88, 86 overall. 88 versus an 86. Not a huge drop off. 20, so he's one year older, but he's also getting paid two and a half million more for the same amount of years. So. I'm confident with Samsonov. Let's see who needs, who wants Demko and has cap. Okay, Colorado. Let's just kind of see. Yeah, they need a goalie bad. But is Colorado good? I don't know if I want to help them out. You know? Oh, they got a lot of players on Shrian block. Uh, we might just have to try to get, like, do they have a first round pick? What if we get their first round pick and their sec and a second round pick? Oh, we could definitely do that. What about first sec and first in your two seconds? We could do that too, I think. Let's try to get their third. Two. You know, why don't we take away what about first round this year, second rounder, and then first round next year? Will they do that? 
Rejected. What if we take that second rounder? Okay, so we trade Demko for two first round picks. I don't remember what we traded for him, but we get Colorado's first round pick in this draft and then their first round next year. So maybe if they're not that good next year, but now they have a new starting goalie. So we have three first round picks, right? So that's good. So hopefully we grab somebody. So I'm just going to send. Because I didn't really want to get a player for Raquel. Well, I mean, w with trading Raquel for Samsonov, that makes it. Um, I didn't want to get a player for like. I wanted to get some prospects or picks because we don't really need any players right now. Maybe on the bottom, maybe on the, maybe another center, because we might move Stutzel up to the fourth line. But Rainer Stulzer, left wing sniper. He's a top six. I might just play it safe with him. These guys, I'm not totally sure. So why not? And he's a 65 overall. That's a good pick. Simulate. Okay, so we missed out on a medium top or 65. Not the worst. But, like I said, we're really good on defense. I think we really just need more offense. There's a goaltender who's unknown, but he's ranked really high. Uh, I might have to take a shot in the dark here because there's not much people scouted. But if we want to build up maybe our center core with this guy... Yeah, let's go Henrik and Naslin from HV71. Hopefully he's medium top six. Medium top six playmaker. Okay, that's a good pick right there. All right. So I'm going to try to get through this draft quickly. Ooh, a 71. Next pick, we have a center. Gustavus Novakov. Defenseman. Goalie. I don't know if we really should go goalie. I mean, if he's ranked this high, we don't really need him because we have a medium, another medium league coming up. Two medium top nine. I'm going to say let's go with the top rated center. Because if he's a medium top six, then that's better than medium top nine. And he is, and he's another playmaker center. So that's good. I kind of like where you don't really like taking a shot in the darks. Because you don't really know. So let's just see if we get any late round. Another medium top six center or a low top four defenseman. I'm going to go... The, well, I'm just going to build up the offense. Because like I said, the defense is going to be the same for a while. Low top six, it's fine. Ooh, Kuznetsov, goalie. We have a medium top six. He's a star. He might be like a low top four, so why not? We'll take a defenseman this time around. Low top four, okay. That's not bad. Now we simulate already to, to the fifth round. Wow. I mean, that's fine. I'm really trying to get through this medium to low top six. 70. And then a bunch of unknowns. Any elites? Okay, me. We'll go with the medium star goalie. We'll grab him from Finland. Oh what? He had four bars. Nah, whatever. French starter. Who cares? All right. Is this looking like our last pick of the draft? I'm just gonna sort by potential. And okay, let's just take a shot in the dark. Two bar medium elite goalie. And he's a fringe starter. Okay, well, I guess not that bad, but it's in the draft. Okay, so we got some good picks here, in, at, least, at least in the first round the th and I think the third round. But we made some big trades. We got rid of Raquel. Oh, now we can actually re-sign them um, with all the coaches and scouts. So like I said, all expiring. It's really just Raquel. Haglin, I'm not going to re-sign. I just took him to give them more root money. Spencer, a medium top. He doesn't want extensions, so let's qualify him. I really don't think we need him. Um, I don't know who these guys are, but let's see what's... Let's go to Zagris. Obviously, now we could... Now he wants 7.7 .7 for three years. He wanted five years at 8.5. But do we want to try to give him... Do we want to try... We could go four years at 7.7. .7. We could definitely do that. I feel like we should give him seven years, but now he have it then. Oh, man. But he wants so much. Do we want to try to go... I'll try to go 7.7 .7 for five years. I think we'll give, let's see if he'll take a little bit of pay cut. Hopefully he doesn't get angry. Sometimes you can take risks like that and you can get guys for cheap. Maybe for like a million, a million less. I don't know if these guys are AHL guys, so I guess we'll just re-sign them. Uh, not totally sure. We'll let that guy, ooh, who are these? Some unsigned guys. All right, what about goalies? Corpus Allah, we gotta re-sign him. He wants an extension, so that's good. Oh my goodness, he, yeah, you know what, never mind. 
I am not going to be paying him as our backup. Um, what goalies do we have in the system? We have a lot. We have Stolarz, who could be our backup. We have Von Arks, who's a medium elite on the come up. And we have a bunch of, yeah, we could let that backup go. And a bunch of fringe starters. So Samsonov is going to come in and be the guy. And all expiring. I think I did everything I wanted to do. Spencer would just qualify. Sorensen will let him go. And then rest. Of, okay, so let's see if Zagris, would we give him five years at 7.7? 7? See if he'll take that. Hopefully he doesn't not. Uh, okay, I think that was our AHL coach. Okay, whatever. Okay. All right, whatever. If you're gonna change duration, I expect that. Okay. All right. So Zegris basically said, if we're gonna get, he wants a three-year, but we're giving him a five-year. He definitely wants more money. Oh man, I almost bought out Ann Fox. So, but I mean, we have money to give him. Let's try to give him eight on the dot for five more years. Like I said, let's try to get him for a little cheaper. I'm gonna have to take a look at the coaches. All right, there's some scouts, I think. Scout. Okay, Zagris won't take a pay cut at all. So you know what? We are just going to offer him. Thank God he's not um, completely not interested in extension. So we're just going to give him five years at 8.5. What he wants. It's basically what What's His Face was making. Um, Raquel. But we are also. But now Zagris is younger and he's only going to get better. So Trevor Zagris resigned. All right, cool. I don't blame him. I mean, he just came. He's going off. All these freaking scouts were signing. Okay. Um, let me just take a look at the coaching. I'm pretty sure there's some like NHL. Who do we have to resign? AHL associate coach. Yeah, let him go. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, I gotta wait till free agency to sign coaches. Okay, you know what? Let's sim to free agency. We're done with all of that. So we get. So I'm wondering to see who is in free agents. I really don't think we need anybody. Like I said, I think our core is locked up. Even with Dylan Larkin, a 91 overall. Oh my God, Pasternak, Dylan Strom's a RFA. Who? Hold up. Pasternak fits top six forward lines, but he wants 10. And we still have 7 million in cap space, so we can maybe clear a little bit. I feel like I need some help. I think I'm going to end the video here. I need some help. And Ovechkin's a... Because Ovechkin fit with our team. It would be fun to bring him in. Okay, he can maybe fit. What does, how many goals does he have right now? He's at 845. Isn't that... What's the record? Like 9-something, I think. 900-something. Yeah, there is a lot of good free agents, Ben. I don't think we need any defensemen. Igor Rykov. Yeah, de defense, I think we're good. Goalies, I mean, we can maybe sign a backup, but who's a... Nah, there's really nobody. Ben Bishop. You know what? Henrik Lundqvist. We're going to give Lundqvist a... We're going to give Lundqvist a contract to be our backup goalie for this year. That's something I, I'll do myself. But there's a lot of good players, man. I think I need some help. You know, obviously Dylan Larkin being a center. Uh, he can maybe fit our team. I'm not totally sure. But he is a playmaker, and I don't think we need it. Taves is a free agent. He's a two-way. Pasta is a sniper, so I think he could fit. Yeah, I think Pasta would fit. So, Strom, playmaker, but we're gonna, no, we're going to have to go with picks. And then Ovechkin can maybe fit. You know what I might want to do? I might want to try to get Ovechkin and Pasternak. Bufflin is here. That would be sick. For 10, it's up to an 85. Wow. Ooh, and he fits our forward line one. You know what? I think we need a nice power forward like him. Damn, we might need him too. Okay. So, mm, 
Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to take a quick look at our team. Actually, no, I'll do it off camera. But I'm going to end the video here. I might need some help. So we have 7 million in cap. I don't really know. I got to see. We might have to change up the defense if we want to. I mean, if we want to get one of these guys, I'm pretty sure we could clear up 3 million in cap. But, like, I think actually Jake Furtanen would fit very well. He fits our forward line one. Right now, I think the forward line one's looking like Barzell. If we throw over 10 up there with, like, Hall, that would be pretty good. I mean, we I don't think we have room for Ovechkin and Pasternak, but Pasternak, maybe. But if we got Pasternak, what does he want? He wants six years at 10 million. Oof. Okay, he would still be. He's, he's, by the time he's 33, he's still going to be good. So let me know. Help me out. Some I know some people are loving this franchise. I, I do, I'm, I'm bringing it back. I think Matt Dumba... What is he? I don't think he really fits. Eh, he's sort of, but no. But someone like Vertan could definitely help us, but we do have Goche and um, PK Subban. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. Who else is in this? Patrick Hornquist. Is that Tyler Bertuzzi? Does he fit? Oh, he's a two-way, though. Why isn't Tyler Bertuzzi a... F okay, maybe Tyler Bertuzzi, too. I don't know. I need some help. Oscar Lindbaum. He doesn't really fit. Kerfoot, Oliver Wallstrom, he's an RFA, damn, what a, this is probably the mo one of the most stacked, he has for Voss, Brandon Carlo, Carlo can maybe fit, he fits, ooh, he can maybe fit Brandon Carlo, but I really don't think we need him, maybe if we wanted a cheaper option, if we wanted to get rid of him, and then trade Valamaki, because Valamaki's making like, so we, that, we could save 2 million there, so maybe we'll do that, maybe we'll sign Carlo and get rid of Valamaki, but I'm going to end the video here guys, um, next episode, we will, um, let me know in the comments who I should target. I think a guy like Pasternak would be good for Tannen and Brandon Carlo would be awesome. But maybe I could try to bring Ovechkin too. That would be cool. And maybe Ovechkin end his career with us and maybe get one more cup. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm actually very stoked. This is a sick free agency. Let me know who I should target. Like I said, the top guys are Ovechkin, Pasternak, Vertanen, and Carlo. And I, th I'm, I think Pasternak would be awesome, but he's coming off a of Stanley Cup, so I guess, I don't know. I don't really know what happened. The Bruins just won the Stanley Cup, and like Krug is on a train block. They have to have so much cap. Let me see how much cap they have. And how do they just not re-sign Pasternak? Unless for some reason they don't. They have like 20 million cap. How did they, what, did they just let him go? They still have McAvoy. I don't know. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, Marshan. You know, Marshan's got he's got pretty good value, but I don't yeah, I don't think he fits. Alright, well that's it. This is gonna be it. Let me know what I should do. There's a lot of gems. You know, obviously we give Ovechkin a one year contract, but let us know let me know so I can I'll make a decision and I'll I'll see you guys.